Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We're going to talk about the newest Natasha Denona palette that has been leaked in the market. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. I've seen the picture. It's right in front of me. But it is talking about all about Natasha Denona Retro Glam palette. So if you're interested, if you were eyeing and waiting for a bigger size of the retro mini palette from Natasha Denona, you're here for a treat. I will show you the swatches, everything like duping the vibes of that palette. But yes, if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, let's get ready. I'm going to apply my primer and for today, I'm going to take my She Glam Primer. This is the Birthday Skin Primer. I really, really love the way this feels on my skin. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to concentrate that on the center of my face. I just have my sunscreen and my moisturizer on and uh, my brow product. And I'm using my Maybelline Express Brow in the shade Medium Brown. I'm just going to press this on my skin. Let's talk about the thing that you guys are all here for and that is the new Natasha Denona palette leaked <laughs> and it is the retro glam palette if you guys really did like the mini retro palette that she came out with with like those sage greens and those pinky tones you're here for a great reason like I feel like she's like she's going to deliver it to you guys like I'm not a big green person but I feel like yes you are gonna be excited if you have loved that palette this is your baby it's gonna come uh i don't know when is it gonna release because it just like leaked uh it can be this holiday palette but i was thinking that she's gonna launch like a a mini palette like a five pan palette the way she did last time and uh, this year's palette is gonna end with dream but maybe not maybe not and um I don't know if I can like show you the picture or not. You'll have to like believe me. I can see the picture right in front of me and um, I'll give you a few swatches like a similar color story how it appears. So, so we'll get ready and we'll do the swatches. We'll do create like a similar look on what you'll get if you have got that palette. Uh, the foundation did I even mention I am using my NARS light reflecting foundation in the shade Syracuse. And I'm going to apply that all across my face. Another top rated foundation in my collection for this year, for sure. Really good one. Like very, very lightweight on the skin. And yeah, beautiful finish. If you like a radiant foundation, but not like too oily, too greasy, I think you'll absolutely love it. It appears very, very natural on the skin, I would say. Like I'm a combo skin type. I do not like any like glowy products on my skin, but this is beautiful. Just a light layer is what I need because whatever imperfections I have on my skin, I'm just gonna go with a concealer of my skin tone. And for that, I'm gonna use my Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Multipurpose Glow Concealer. And I have mine in the shade eight. Now eight is like my, my skin tone. Just gonna take that on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna take with the same brush because it's high of pigment. I'm just gonna tap that on my cheek area wherever I need like the maximum pigmentation. I'll do that there. This eight shade is like perfect, perfect for my skin tone, I would say. I'm going to take my BK Beauty concealer brush and just take this. Actually, I'm going to mix a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury concealer. What is this called? Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. And this I have in the shade number 10 tan. I'm just going to mix it with the other one, the Giorgio Armani one, just because this one is a tad little bit light, not much. Uh, and that is my skin tone. So for underneath the eyes, I just want a, a little more lightness, but not, not much. I'm just gonna concentrate that there. Okay, let's talk about the palette. It's very hard to say from the picture itself that it's gonna be a midi or a large palette. But if you don't know, like the large pan sizes are like much, much bigger than her midi palettes. I don't have like her large palettes. 
but I have the five pan, which is like similar to the large uh, pans in her large palette. But the midis are definitely a little more on the smaller side, as you can see. Let me just hold it right next to each other so that you can see the difference in the size of the pan. And this is the coral palette and this is the dream palette. I have videos on all of them on my channel. So yeah, if you need any inspiration, it's already there. I'll link a few in the description box below or in the icons above for you guys to check it out. But talking about that palette, I would say if you are interested in that color story, when I saw this palette leaked, they were all comparing it to the Lime Crime Venus XL number two palette. And I would say the greens in that palette are very, very similar. And the pinks are also very similar. Now this palette is, it's not too much green, I would say. It has one, two, three, four, five greens. Six greens, I would say. My problem with this palette is, if this is the palette that she's going to release, it doesn't have like a, like a deep, dark matte shade. It has a lot of like light and mid-tone mattes of like greens and pinks. But I see like a cream to powder finish of like a brown. Uh, and I see shimmer greens, like a deeper shimmer green and a deeper brown uh, shimmer in the palette. But I don't see... I don't see like a deep dark brown or a black to ground the uh, palette together. I feel like the darkest matte that I see is like a forest green shade, uh, which would be similar to the camouflage shade in the primal palette. I feel like camouflage is very, very similar. Like this tone of green. I feel like that is like the deepest matte that I see there. But yeah, we'll see if she makes any changes in that or not. But I also feel like I'm not going to swatch it exactly like the palette just because I don't want to ruin it for you guys when it, it comes out. I just want to tell you guys like what would the color story be like if you were eyeing that palette or if you or if you were like you know just waiting for a retro palette to come and i really appreciate that natasha does this um of like listening to her customers like like i i remember when this uh retro mini came nobody had like seen that you know that color story before and everybody was like going gaga over that palette and i know mel was so so excited for like a midi version of it or, or like a bigger version of it and uh when she came out with like a retro palette, it was, it was all like mauves and berries, right? So I feel like people were disappointed of calling, not because that the retro palette was like bad or anything, because it was not. It's just that people were disappointed because she was calling it a retro palette, uh, because it was nothing like the retro mini palette. I don't know where am I going with this rumbling, uh, but <laughs> by the way, I'm using my LYS a triple fix powder in the shade Resilience on like uh, underneath my eyes. For the bronzer, let me just take get this out of the way. For the bronzer, I'm going to use my LYS cream bronzer and for the blush, I'm going to use my Tower 28 in the shade Office Hours, which is more on the mauve side, the newest shade that they release. So I'm going to apply that. Okay, so basically that's how I feel. She has pinks and neutrals and browns in this palette too. Uh, and all cool tone color story. Like if you are a cool tone person, you are in like serious business. Uh, you're going to love this palette if you love greens and pinks together. Especially those like, you know, those sagey greens um, and those like muted down uh, pinks. I also feel like if you do have this coral palette, um, she has very, very similar tones of these three in that palette. So she does have like that burgundy shade. She does have this kind of a coral shade in the palette. And she does have this like champagne-y, pinky, champagne-y tone, I would say, with like a hint, hint of pink in it. But as I'm saying it, let me just swatch those things on the back of my hand so that just, just for a reference, um, you guys know what is the color story that we are going to get from her. Now, again, don't quote me on this because this is just like a teaser that has come. It's not been published by Natasha Denona herself or like any 
any valid like a Natasha Denona brand person. So because it's just been leaked, it I mean Natasha can do anything with her brand and her palettes, right? But as soon as I saw it, I just wanted to make a video just because I feel like people were very, very interested. And I know there's a lot of people, at least in my audience, who are very interested in the Natasha Denona palettes. And I do a lot of dupe videos, duping the vibe of the palette. So I think you guys would be very, very interested in that. So I'm randomly going to swatch a few shades. So the shades that we spoke. So camouflage from here. And then I would say from here, I'm going to swatch all three of these shades. And when I got this palette, I don't know if you guys remember or not, when I was like firstly trying this palette, I was like, man, if those two shades were like green, I would call it a retro. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. So that's there. And these are like muted pinks and like a berry shade. And uh, greens, of course, we are going to dip into more greens. And I feel like you have something like this champagne tone shade there. Uh, the the berry tone, this, this looks a little more like red, but it's more like a mixture of this and that together. Let me, let me do that. This and this. So I'm going to just swipe this on top of that. And then like a creamy champagne -y shade i would say if you do have the mandalorian palette from colourpop and star wars collection very very similar vibe i have i can see this kind of a green there i can see like the deepest green has this kind of a vibe we have like this tone of shimmer green i don't know what i'll just watch for you guys seriously okay let me swatch it so we have this this kind of a green is definitely there so that's how the color story is looking so far uh, and then she has a lot of neutrals also i mean like cooler tone neutrals i would say what else i i see like a bluey green shade too like a combo of this and this together from glam light chocolate uh dirty martini palette i would say like not as blue as this but not as green as this like a, a mix of it and then i have like i i see like this kind of a green like a deeper cool tone green shimmer like this um uh, what else what else Oh my, did you see that? <laughs> it flew off my hand. And I would say like the mattes, like the neutral mattes that I see, I feel like you can get closer to it by the shade Tree Hopper. The pinks can be close to Flutterby, Walking Stick, um not as deep as death moth it's it's difficult to like completely see but i would say yeah similar like this is how it's looking so far and you'll get like a similar vibe i would say the only thing that i basically i am missing is like a cool toned brown shimmer shade and there are two of them in that palette, uh, mostly like a, a shimmery, bronzy, cool tone shade. Let me see. I would say something like Exposed from the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette would be close. So I think, let me swatch that. Yeah, I would say yes. I feel like this is like giving the vibes of the palette. So if you are interested in this color story, uh, you will get like a similar palette from her coming very very soon I, I don't think that this green is like very similar to that green I feel like that is a little more on the muted side but deeper so do keep that in mind but I, I feel like it, the color story the vibe is all there so yeah get excited get excited for all green lovers you're getting very close <laughs>
I went into that realm. So I'm quickly going to finish off this office hours shade on my cheeks. Loving the mauve vibes. Why don't we mix two of the palettes from Natasha and create a look, right? Because I feel like, yeah, I, I had like a very recent palette from her. I just got like a, my mini Natasha Denona gold palette. And I feel like let's, let's combine both of these and create something that she might release, you know? <laughs> Let me just take a big fluffy brush with the same uh, powder, the LYS Triple Fix powder, and just go over the entire face. And then for the bronzer, like powder bronzer, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer. And then for the highlighter, I'm going to dip into my Laura Mercier highlighter in the shade 01. I mean, quite some time because it's going to be like a cool tone look. I wanted like a cool tone highlight, but nothing over the top, just like a subtle, subtle glowiness. And I feel like this is perfect for that. Just like that. I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay Vitamin C setting spray. Ignore my hair, it's just air dried. So, yeah, ignore, ignore. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the eyes. But I do want to test out the Natasha Denona Gold palette too. So, yeah, we'll focus on that, but we'll dip, dip in here and there. I'm going to take this shade from the Natasha Denona Coral palette. I'm just going to place that in the inner crease. And I feel like I've done like a similar, like inspired Natasha Denona retro look before on my channel if i can link I, if i can like find it i'll definitely link it in the eye cards above for you guys i'm going to take the same shade on my lower lash line too just blowing it out i'm going to take this shade on my inner corner as my inner corner pop let's move on to the natasha denona mini gold palette I'm going to take this shade, this shade, and I'm going to apply that towards my outer corner of the eye. Let me tap off the excess. Hmm. I feel like we'll get close. In the palette, actually, that seems like a, definitely a little more on the lighter side. But on the eyes, it's definitely a little more on the deeper side. I'm going to take this deeper shade. Oh, actually, this can duplicate that deeper shade. Why did I not think about that? And I'm going to just deepen out my outer corners. Just the extreme end, I would say. Feels like a cream to powder. Just like that. I'm going to take the same shade and I'm going to just sweep that on my lower lash line. Very creamy shade. And then I'm going to dip into this green shade and also put that on top of that. Just like that. I'm going to take this lightest shade in the palette and I'm just gonna blend the edges with that shade just to blend that green just intensifying that coral shade a little bit and then for my lid I'm gonna first dip into this shade this creamy green shade and apply that towards my center of my eyelid but melting it with that green shade in the diagonal form beautiful recently this palette was on sale in sephora and that's when i picked it up and i think i picked it up for 13 dollars 
for $13. Always a yes for Natasha Denona, right? <laughs> and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this just because I want to see. Uh, and I'm just going to place that right there. Oh, wow. That's, that's amazing. I'm just going to concentrate that right on the center. I'm going to dip back into this shade from the coral palette and I'm just going to take that, apply that right in the inner third. This is a little more on the warmer side. I would have appreciated if this was a little more on the cooler side. I think I know what to use. Wait. I'm going to take the shade Thrill from my Dream Palette. And I'm just going to take that. Uh -huh. On the inner third. This has that pinky shift to it. Which I really like stopping a little bit of this shade from the Mandalorian palette this is right hand Mando right in the center because I feel like this is the tone of that palette let me finesse this look and then apply some liner and mascara and I'll get right back okay I'm gonna finish off my lips with some uh, lip liner and this is Colourpop's lippy pencil in the shade BFF3 For my lipstick, I'm going to use my Maybelline's Colorstay Lip Crayon, Ink Crayon, in the shade On The Grind. Yeah, On The Grind. And then for the lip gloss, I'm going to take my Tower 28 Lip Gloss in the shade Coconut. And that is it, guys. And this is how my final look has turned out. Let me give you a closer look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial that I did for you guys. Talking all the all the gossip about the newest Natasha Denona palette that has been leaked. And it is called the Retro Glam Palette. I really hope that I could give you some kind of an inspiration on like the color story. What is going to come out. But yes, stay tuned. I think it is going to be a holiday palette. So fingers crossed for that. But yes, if you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And ring that notification bell. So that you are notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week. Every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9am Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.